Hello everyone, Dr. Jamie Ball here. The purpose of this video is to show all of you how to use some of the Microsoft Office Word features to format your dissertation properly. When you format your dissertation properly, you can automatically update your table of contents and your lists of figures and things, and uh, it makes it easier to navigate around a very long dissertation. So the first thing I'd like to call to your attention is this navigation bar over to the side. Okay, so to open that up, we can simply use the find feature. And if you go right here, this brings up anything that has headings that shows up in the table of contents. And notice that we don't have any there. All right, so in order to format your dissertation correctly, you have to go to the home tab and to the styles and program these styles here to work for you properly. So let's start programming the five features that you'll typically need to format your dissertation. So let's do the normal font first. So you're going to right click and go to modify. Now you want to make sure that the style type is paragraph, it's based on normal, Times New Roman and 12 is essential. Okay, and you want it justified left. And now we're going to go to this format button at the bottom and go to paragraph. Well, look, our paragraphs are indented on the first line, right? So we want the first line indented by 0.5. The spacing is always set at zero, both before and after. And a dissertation is double spaced. See that? So, okay. We're good. That's good. Okay. We have the color set to automatic. Let's do heading one. Right click, modify. Style is based on normal. Okay. And look, they've got the text at Courier New. We don't want that. We want Times New Roman. Okay. We want the color on automatic. And heading one is centered and bolded. So we want to click that bold. All right, and let's check the formatting. First line indent does not apply because it's centered. So we don't want any. Spacing before and after is at zero and we want it double spaced. We're good. Okay, let's correct heading two. Look at that heading two. See that it's blue. We don't want blue. Right click, modify, styles based on normal, okay? We don't want Cambria, we want Times New Roman, we want 12. It's bolded, remember? We don't want blue, we want automatic. Okay, let's go to format and check our paragraph. All right, heading two is not indented. So we need to get rid of that, no indentation. Look, look at the spacing before. See that 10 point? We want that at zero. We want the other one at zero. And it's double spaced. Okay, we're good. Let's do level three. Level three. Look, it's got, we've got style based on body of the text. Usually we put style based on normal, right? Okay, it's Times New Roman 12. It's bolded. It starts to the left, but it's indented. So let's go to format, paragraph, first line. Look, we want it indented by 0.5, spacing zero, zero, double spacing. And then we want to do level four, okay? Level four, now remember, level four is bolded and italicized. We want everything based on normal. Okay, so it's indented to the, or it's not, it's indented, but it's justified left. So let's go to paragraph, make sure the indentation shows up, right? Indentation, first line, 0.5, that's correct. No extra spaces, double spacing. Okay, so now we have formatted your dissertation. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use that. So we're going to go to the body 
of your dissertation and we're going to start start these headings okay now if you don't want this bolded you can always unclick it like that all right but background of the study heading one statement of the problem heading one now see what's happening over here in the navigation pane that's being added everything from heading one and heading two will be added to that navigation pane heading three only gets added if it's a heading by itself with no text on that line same with heading four and i'll show you what i mean so let's say we want to add a heading two and a heading three all right so we'll go through we'll add these okay so let's try a heading two research questions so we've got that at heading let's do research question variables so let's say i want to do a subsection named variables right i would highlight that See how it showed up here and look how it's indented. Okay. Now let's say I want to do levels three and four. So let me show you a level three. Um, leadership theories. Now remember, when you do level three and level four, your text starts on the same line, not afterwards. Okay, so so maybe I want to watch me style this. So I can style part of that as normal. Where did normal go? Right here. And then I can style this heading three. Okay, see that? And look, definition of terms, same thing. Text starts on the same line for level four. So let's say I want to add a definition of bullying. Okay. I can do that as normal. That didn't work right. All right, normal. I can do my bullying as level four. Here we go. You see that? But notice they didn't come here. Okay. So you need to have all of your headings correct going all the way through. All right. See that? Now watch what happens if I don't have text on this line and I make it a level three. Usually it'll appear down here. Okay, this is incorrect. Incorrect. Now see what happened when I brought that back up? If this happens to you and then you can't get this to work correctly, see how I'm hitting normal and it won't work? Highlight everything is normal. Then go back and highlight your header. Okay, because if you do it all and then it turns like that, it just won't work. I don't know why. So once you've gone all the way through your dissertation and you've headed everything correctly, now you're going to want to go to your table of contents. If it'll finish updating, I'll show you. All right. Now you can highlight your table of contents, right click you should be able to update field. Let's see. Let 
it is not working. This is not a legitimate table of contents. So now you're going to want to insert a table of contents. All right. So to insert a table of contents to make sure it updates easy, you're going to want to go. Let's see if I can remember. You're going to want to go to the References tab, Table of Contents. You see I have my cursor right there, so I'm going to want to insert a Table of Contents. You have these choices and you have to format them some. I usually click that one, okay? And it inserted, should insert a Table of Contents. So let's see, there it is. Now this isn't exactly how I want it either. So now I'm going to, first I'm gonna to wanna to update table. All right, so I fixed it, but if you update the table, you may have to fix it again. But look, I could highlight the table. I can click update table. It can update with page number only or update entire table. Now, if you've done your headings correctly, it updates. So this is what we did. If you've done your headings incorrectly, let's do one that's incorrect, okay? Let's say, you have all of that as heading one. See what happens on the side here, right? And then I go to update my table of contents. Look what happens. See that showed up. And that showed up because it's not styled correctly. And look, I can go right there now and fix that. and it disappeared. I can go back to my table of contents. And update the entire thing again. And it disappeared. So if your headings are done correctly, this works out. All right, then you can delete the old table of contents. By doing this, you can navigate your dissertation quickly and easily. It's a great way to make sure your headings are all correct. Okay, see how easily I can jump to these things. So I hope that information helps you. All right, and um, thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.